Just 0.5% of almost $12 billion was what went to Flag Founders. Web3 is one of the most open-minded, diverse, welcoming industries out there. I've always felt it was normal to be outnumbered by white people in the industry. There are lots of stats that show clearly the industry is not exactly at the state where it needs to be. It's Hi everyone! I hope that the Black Tech Day is already delivering all the value you need. My name is Elvis Kolaole and I'm primarily a marketer for companies in the Web3 space. Uh, my background is mostly steeped in digital marketing and in content creation. Um, I started my career officially as a social media manager at an international e-commerce conglomerate and it's been a really wild journey from there. Um, since then, I've worked for companies in the finance space, the gaming industry, industry, FMCGs, and more recently in Web3. And I would like to say I started to work more exclusively in Web3 around 2021 when there was a bit of a bull run. Since then, I'm proud to tell you that I've been doing a lot of building in the space. I currently host a podcast called Money Panda where I bring stakeholders in the blockchain industry from all over the world to talk about all the issues we um, find important. I also curate job opportunities in Web3 space through a newsletter. I'm also building a platform called CryptoCoins VIP, which is a media platform with trading capabilities. And something a lot of people might know me for is the fact that I create a shitload of content. Excuse my French. I create a whole lot of content that you can find on LinkedIn, you can find on YouTube, you can also find on TikTok. So um, enough about me, okay? Um, let me talk a bit more about a lot of my observations in the space. And there's so, 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 so much I've seen over the last couple of years. And in my time working professionally so look as a person of color, I've always felt it was normal to be outnumbered by white people in the industry. And um, that's because I felt it's pretty much the same everywhere else I've been. And I feel there's really nothing wrong with that. Culturally speaking, Web3 is one of the most open-minded, diverse, welcoming industries out there because the vast majority of people here really just want to break the mold. They want to break from centralized control of their money, entertainment, their data, all of that. So a lot of the usual BS such as discrimination because of ra race, creed, sexuality, all that stuff is more or less against the industry's ethos. However, there are lots of stats that show clearly the industry is not exactly at the state where it needs to be, especially as regards diversity. In 2022, just last year, Web3 founders in the US got $11.9 billion, and out of that, only 0.5% of that money went to black founders. Let me say it again. Just 0.5% of almost $12 billion was what went to founders, according to Crunchbase. And that's about $60 million if you're counting. <laughs> so that's how much actually went to founders, uh, black founders, amongst all of the money that was invested into the Web3 space. If you like to zoom out a bit, also the US government's data shows that about 6% of tech professionals out there are black people. And on the funding side, Crunchbase also reports that only 1% of VC funding generally goes to black founders and that's about the entire funding is around 215 billion dollars and out of that only around 1% of that goes to black founders and that's in the general tech space so that tells the whole that that tells the entire story that tells you all you need to know um, about the disparities out there okay and now away from that for me personally I've worked directly with so many different companies with a combined staff strength of around 150 people give and take um, out of those 150 people on the same team as me I could only count around four black people and out of those four black people three of those are Nigerians and the last guy is sort of blackish <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so so you can already see where I'm coming from right now the question is where do we go from here what is the solution so before you rush into any conclusions it's best to always look at things like this rationally right and try to be more solution oriented and that was always my mentality you know getting into the industry like be more solution oriented and not be the guy trying to complain 
or or trying to you know blame white people or, or trying to trying to be the victim no 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 that that doesn't work actually trying to have like a cold rational like approach to these things is you know is usually the best way to go so first things first the first thing to understand as a black person trying to work in web 3 or tech in general is that there is very likely to always be some bias against you and it's not even for reasons you might think about as i demonstrated earlier people in web 3 or tech are already statistically unlikely to have ever worked with a black person before. It might sound strange, but I mean, it's the truth. And we're in 2023, unfortunately, that's just the truth. I mean, it is unfortunate, but you don't have to wrestle with the truth. You just have to confront it and you have to come to terms with the fact that you already might be at a disadvantage for something that you have no control over and you just have to move accordingly. If you're a black person or a person of color trying to get into Web3 or into the tech space in general okay now the first thing i tend to recommend for starters is trying to build a personal brand and the reason why is because the more your face is seen and the reputation is being built in public the more leverage you have over investors and over employers and then the more likely it is that you will secure opportunities like i always say it's never going to be enough to tell industry leaders to just bridge the gap you always have to give them reasons to do so and you need leverage if you you're all if you're trying to move the needle anywhere and personal brand is a very ethical but powerful form of leverage the way you try to build a personal brand is by showing up on social media doing things that portray you in the best light and showing that you are a person that has you know a, a ton to contribute a ton of value to contribute which i'm going to speak on right now but basically showing um that you are not what whatever stereotype they're they're trying to box you into basically the the best way to build a brand is showing competence and whatever skill you have if you're a writer if you're a marketer if you're a lawyer if you're whatever and you're trying to you know do that within the web 3 space within tech space the best way to do that is continuously putting yourself out there perhaps on any social media platform because these social media platforms are you know you anyone can become anything on a social media platform and the best thing to become on one of these social media platform is somebody that becomes recognized for their competence in one particular discipline or the other so that's a very very effective form of leverage you know that you can use to set yourself apart no matter what your color is no matter what your gender is your ethnicity your sexuality no matter what whatever all, all of that is a big personal brand is always a fantastic form of leverage and leverage is always very important when you're trying to secure opportunities so that's very important now, another big way to secure some more leverage is to constantly add value to yourself. Now, when you arm yourself with information and when you're the source of what people always need, when you're always solving problems for people, that's going to get you much, much farther than any other hack I can ever give you. All you have to do is give value consistently and strategically and you're going to end up in places you never even knew about. So, for example, I, I'm a good example of that. This just giving value consistently is exactly how I ended up here speaking to you in London all the way from Africa right value is a universal currency and people will do anything to associate with a person of value no matter their race no matter their sexuality no matter their gender or whatever if you can focus on delivering value in the right places at the right time in a consistent fashion then you will definitely attract a lot of great opportunities to yourself and that that goes like far beyond you know whatever race you are um so two things i've just mentioned now trying to build a personal brand and of course i feel really big cornerstone of your personal brand should be a brand of a person that is always delivering value because whatever like there is value to be gotten you know it doesn't matter like who you are like what you look like or, or what you do in private <laughs> with your body parts like you, you would always attract great things to yourself you always attract great opportunities to yourself and you are very unlikely to be just another 
unfortunate statistic so i think that's the mentality to have now there are some people who have been doing some amazing work for people of color in the web3 space and generally in the tech space and i think you should check them out number one there's people of crypto lab which is an innovation lab founded by simone berry number two there's the umba daima an empowering venture studio which is sponsored by visa afrotech christie's and OpenSea. number three is the black at that's black and the at sign which is a community designed for black creatives, investors, and community builders and, and entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs and people of color who are enthusiastic about technology. Now, something else to mention that I think I mentioned to, to the organizers is if you're a founder in Web3, um, I think it's important to take advantage of Andreessen Horowitz or A16Z, um, which is opening their first international office in London. Now, A16Z is a venture capital firm with over 30 five billion dollars in assets under management and they're about to open their first international office in london right there in your backyard in london and and um this london office is going to focus on investments in web3 space so i'm talking crypto nfts blockchain all of that so i encourage you to take advantage of all of that while you can so um that's been my talk so far um i hope you're able to utilize everything i've been able to say and i hope like going forward um a lot of things change as regards um diversity within workplaces not just in web3 but in technology in general and of course i hope that this event is going to be uh, a great step forward towards you know bridging the gap for a lot of us people of color and you know making making a lot of um, workplaces far more diverse and eventually far more richer as a result of that so thank you so much for this opportunity to speak and see you later bye bye